Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first ever lip product review. You guys know that I'm always really, really into doing like foundation reviews and stuff like that, but this is actually the first time I'm doing a lip review, and I love lip products. I'm always buying new lip products, especially at the drugstore. Like, drugstore lip products are some of my favorite lip products on the market, and I love trying new ones out. So I saw these. These are the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and I got three colors. I'll show you guys the colors I got. So I got the red shade, I got this really dark, pretty pink shade, and then this really, really neutral shade here. All gorgeous colors, really, really rich in pigment, at least that's what it looks like. And I was just drawn to these, and I really, really wanted to test them out for you guys. So I thought I'd just pop on here really quick and test them out. So I'm sorry if I look a little crazy, this actually was just going to be like a relaxed day for me and my family, but I decided to give these a try for you guys today and let you guys know what I think of them. So I'm really, really excited. These were $7.99 where I bought them at Fred Meyer. First opening them up, they don't smell like anything. They just kind of have like that plasticky lip color scent, but nothing like super strong or anything. The tip is like a doe foot applicator, but it's a really long applicator and it's not super bendy. It bends just a little bit, but it's nothing too dramatic. I don't like it when doe foot applicators are extremely bendy. I like it when they're a little bit stiffer. I just feel like I can apply it a little bit easier. It's definitely thicker. So the first one looks like this. Really, really pretty. Really, really rich in pigment. It's almost like a mousse, like a moussey, almost like frosting. These are like frosting. That's totally a good like description, frosting or icing or something like that. So, so I'm gonna do the first color. This is the really pretty nude color in Nude Flush, number 10. And this literally just glides on so smoothly. Literally, it feels like you're like icing a cake or something. It almost has like a silicone primer feel to it. Like, you know how those silicone primers just like glide onto your skin? That's what these feel like. They definitely have something like that in them. Mm, those are really soft. That is seriously, so soft on your lips. It literally just glides on. There's no stickiness. This is probably one of the softest, like velvety lip colors I've ever tried. And it's beautiful. This color is beautiful. I love it. It's so natural. All right, so the next color I'm gonna try is this really pretty berry shade. All right, so this is the pink one. It applied exactly the same. Super, super like soft and velvety. Um, they apply really even as well is what I'm noticing like you don't get like streakiness or anything like that Like when you apply them, it's like the same color all over your lips So that's a really good thing. You don't have to sit there and blend it It's really really quick and it just glides right on so so I do feel like it does stain a little bit So I just had this on for maybe 30 seconds and it did stain my lips pretty pink So I'm gonna do the red one now So the red one applied exactly the same way, really, really smooth, really velvety, just like the other two. And I only have to do one coat, and I feel like it's extremely pigmented. I don't have to like keep re-dipping my brush over and over again to get the really rich pigment that you're looking for. And like I said, it goes on like completely even. There's no streakiness whatsoever, and it's so velvety. Like this is the most velvety, buttery lip color I've ever used. So the only thing that I'm noticing right now, the downside, is that they transfer a little bit easy. Like I notice that it gets on my teeth really, really easy, which I don't experience that with all lip colors, but I do feel like because these are so velvety and like they just glide on so smoothly, that they just transfer like onto my teeth really easy or onto my hands. Or if you have kids, like it's really gonna transfer onto your kids, especially right when you like apply it. So that's one thing that I am noticing is it does transfer because it is just like buttery. Um, but I will let this dry on my lips and just kind of wear it around for a while and let you guys know kind of how it dries or how it lasts, you know, within like an hour, hour or two. But right now, these are really, really amazing. The pigment is amazing. The texture is amazing. Everything about these right now, I am loving, except for the transferring. Right now, I'm going to give them five stars, even because they transfer. I mean, transferring is, you know, whatever. I mean, if you're careful, it's not going to transfer, but... Um, as far as everything else, like five stars. I love them. So I'll let you guys know what I think in a couple hours. All right, guys, so it's a little bit later, and right now I'm still really, really loving the lipstick. I feel like it 
stayed extremely um, bright and I love the consistency of it still but I did notice again that the transferring was really really bad I kissed my daughter when she woke up from her nap and it literally got all over her lips um, I'll show you guys so I mean it's not like a long-lasting lipstick or it's not like a super stay lipstick by any means you're not gonna get like a full day wear out of this lipstick I don't think uh, but even with that said, I still really love it and I feel like I could buy more colors in this. I just really love the consistency. I feel like right now, after having it on for a while, it kind of feels like um, a lipstick would feel right when you apply it. So you know when you just apply a lipstick and it still feels really creamy and really smooth, it hasn't dried out at all? That's how it feels, but like a few hours later. So I really, really like that about it. It's definitely not drying, it's moisturizing, it doesn't feel like it's like drawing my lips out or like creasing or crumbling or anything like that, cracking. Um, so I personally really like it. I'm a huge fan of these. I would definitely purchase more. Like I said, if you have kids or something that you're constantly kissing on or babies that like to grab your face, these probably aren't the best for you, but I personally like them and I would definitely give them two thumbs up and I say give them a try. I think they're great. So. Let me know if you guys like this lip review. I want to do more of these in the future if you guys enjoy them or like my opinion. I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. And I love you. Mwah.